Yo, Empanada Guy here, how are you? I spent the weekend trying to uh, get my thoughts together on how I can share this moment in our business life of uh, being Empanada Guy. Um, a couple of changes are happening and I'll tell you the changes immediately and then I'll tell you why they're happening, okay? All right, number one, our mall location in Freehold is closed, is done. We're done with that uh, um, operation, that journey. It ended as of Sunday, okay? So we're no longer at the mall. Number two, the restaurant in Freehold, okay, is no longer going to be a restaurant, okay? It's not going to be a place where you go and you pick up uh, uh, four empanadas, two empanadas, and camarones al ajillo, and a little burrito, and a soda. It's not going to be that. It's going to be a full-blown catering facility, okay? Um, from the back, we'll be wholesaling, you know, we'll be distributing from there. But in the front, it's a catering based on your order, okay? You can still order a food a truck to be catering your party, your event, or you can pick up the stuff um, by ordering it, okay? Uh, we'll give you more detail on how that's going to work out, okay? The logistics of that. So it's wholesale catering, okay? And then from there, we're gonna manage, okay, the whole entire franchising business from there because that's where everything, it's gonna get duplicated. Um, the franchising, we're just a couple papers away, just signing off. It's really, uh, it's really on us when we're ready to make that announcement. And believe me, when we do, we're gonna celebrate, okay? I got enough bottle of tequilas here. Um, but then that's, you got to be careful what you wish for because then you're going to have 50 people wanting to sign up. And I got to make sure that we have everything ready, you know, for the new baby to come part of our family. We got to have the diapers, we got to have the white bees, you know. It's the same thing when you franchise and you bring in new people, new blood into the organization. Um, so those three main things is why we're shutting down retail. And you're probably saying, well, what retail? Why retail? Why are you hurting the retail? Well, I'm not really hurting. I'm hurting it because I can't serve three masters, four masters. I have to focus on this so that I can give a better product and a better service to those 50, 100 locations that are going to come on board. Okay. Now, are we going to open up retail spots? Absolutely. And now I already pay the price, pave the road. I already know the good, the bad, what works and what doesn't work uh, on a retail level. So if you want to come in and say, uh, I don't want a truck, I want a brick and mortar, I'll tell you, okay, great. You can get yourself a 500 to 1,000 square foot facility and we'll help you how to do it and, and show you what's good and what's bad, okay? And you're going to make your profit on it. So um, that's, that's the good thing about it. So um, we paid our price. We did our thing, we did our research, and that's it, okay? Um, so we're excited about that. Those three things, going wholesale, catering, and now franchising, okay? Because we're USDA, um, wholesale has a lot of legs to it. You know, we, we have QBC on ice right now, which is amazing. We have uh, school um, uh, districts that want our products in to their school district that has, I don't know, 30, 40 schools serving thousands of students, okay? So we're working on that deal. We're working on multiple food distributors all over New Jersey and Pennsylvania and uh, distributors that handle all five boroughs on getting our product through there. So uh, wholesale is a total different animal. And, and that's something that I'm Personally, I'm really good at, and it gets me in, back into uh, where I'm more comfortable at. Um, I'll leave the retail up to whoever wants to come in and do that, okay? Um, so that's what's happening. The catering is fun. That's that's pretty much a uh, turnkey operation. You know, you call up, hey, you want 50 empanadas? Boom, done, okay? Um, with that, all that being said, we, we have new locations, and we have multiple potential new locations okay number one we got bradley beach right in front of the ocean amazing spot okay we have i mean you couldn't ask for a better spot than that uh and it looks like it's going to be a permanent location for us and then we got sandy hook also coming on board so 
uh, within a week or so, we'll we'll be definitely in Bradley Beach, which is the cleaning up the truck and getting it up to par. Um, we also have other locations that are being offered to us, and we're like, mm -mm, where to go? Okay, and we don't have that many trucks. Okay, we we are six food trucks right now, and once we franchise, it's gonna it, it's an end game. Okay, um, so that's it. Listen, I, I uh, really appreciate you guys constantly supporting me, giving your feedback, and just scratching your head sometimes on all the crazy stuff I do. But um, it's a business, and uh, it's unpredictable. And everything you plan for doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. You know, you're going to have good, you're going to have bad days, but you got to take everything one day at a time, and, and you got to pray. And, and and ask that good things will happen and um, good things are happening. So um, thank you for being a part of my journey. God bless.